The human body is capable of doing all sorts of amazing things. However, not all bodies are made equal. Here are 10 things most humans can't do with their body. Wiggling ears the majority of people able to lift both eyebrows quickly up and down can move their ears, but it's a special talent to wiggle them independently from our facial muscles. The muscles behind our ears are actually quite complex, so unlike our facial muscles, they have their own nucleus in the brainstem. Some people are able to wiggle their ears without much thought, but others need to work at it. The nucleus in a human's ear muscles are tiny, which is why it's such a difficult trick to master. The muscles must be worked, and with time, someone could learn to wiggle their ears. Touching nose or chin with tongue. At one point in our lives, we've all tried to touch our nose or chin with our tongues just to see if it was possible. And more often than not, it's harder than it looks. In truth, only 10% of the population can successfully perform this interesting little talent. One of these people is Gene Simmons of KISS. Often, this trick can be performed by someone who has Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, a connective tissue disorder. 50% of those with the disorder can touch their nose or chin with their tongue. Sneezing with eyes open most people have heard the old wives' tale about sneezing with your eyes open. Mothers have warned their children that if they don't close their eyes when they sneeze, they will sneeze their eyeballs right out of the sockets. Experts believe we close our eyes when we sneeze because it's an involuntary reflex. When our brains send the signal that we're about to sneeze, another message is sent to our eyelids to close. Not necessarily to keep our eyes in, but to prevent whatever caused us to sneeze from entering our eyes. Licking Elbow While not impossible, licking our own elbow is very difficult for the majority of people. Since the rumor that it's impossible to do began to circulate, the Guinness World Records began receiving several claims a day from people saying they could do it. It's not world record worthy, but still impressive. The average person will be unable to do it simply because the body isn't built that way. But there are still a wide variety of tutorials available online to learn how. Someone with a longer tongue or short upper arms will have an easier time accomplishing the unique trick. Twitching Nose while this ability is more common than most would think, it's still incredible to behold. When the hit TV series Bewitched first aired, people wished to be able to wiggle their nose just like Samantha. Like many things, it comes more easily to some than others, but can be learned. It involves isolating the muscles around the nose and upper lip and practicing until it becomes more comfortable to perform. While it's not a particularly useful skill, it is very cute once mastered. Flexibility Extreme flexibility or the ability to contort one's body beyond the usual extremes is considered an art form. While some of us may struggle to reach our toes, there are others that can raise their legs to the back of their heads. People with this ability are sought out to become acrobats, circus performers, or members of other performing troops. Front bending, splits, back bending, and even the ability to dislocate joints at will are all examples of extreme flexibility. Self-tickling Pretty much all of us have at least one ticklish spot that causes us to laugh, squirm, and maybe even pee a little. If there's no one around though and someone enjoys being tickled, it's impossible to do solo. While it is possible to tickle oneself slightly, it can't be done to the point of laughter or panic because there's an area at the back of our brain called the cerebellum that prevents it. When we try to tickle ourselves, this area of the brain forewarns us that we're about to be touched and reflexively tensed anticipating the touch. Swallowing and breathing simultaneously. The human body has many moving parts with many different functions. One of these moving parts is the pharynx, which resides in the throat, allowing air into the lungs and food into the stomach. Given that it moves to one side or the other while in use, it makes it nearly impossible to perform both actions at the same time. But it does happen accidentally. Sometimes when eating too quickly, air is swallowed with our food, which causes bloating and gas. Other times when drinking, for example, the liquid may go down the wrong pipe and enter the lung side, which causes coughing and discomfort. Gleeking 
One of the weirdest trends out there, gleeking is the term used when someone projects saliva from the submandibular gland in their mouth by stimulating the saliva gland under the tongue in order to spit a jet of saliva from the mouth. While it can happen accidentally when yawning or at the dentist is difficult to do on command, it requires tongue dexterity and practice to achieve the effect. Tongue Tricks the tongue is one of the most malleable organs of the human body. With practice, we can even learn to do tricks with it. A lot of it is about muscle control, but some say it's also in our genetics. So while about 75% of the population can learn to roll their tongues, there are other tricks that can not often be taught. The ability to perform a three-leaf clover or a 180-degree flip is primarily possible because of our DNA. There are exceptions to the rule, however. Studies have shown that some children of parents parents unable to perform these tricks were able to manipulate their tongues in these different shapes regardless. However it's done, it's pretty impressive. Alright, which of these tricks can you do? And please be safe if you're going to attempt some of these at home. Let us know what you thought of this video in the comments and please don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to The Richest for videos you don't want to miss. Thanks for watching.